Alex Navarro. Hi, Abby Russell. Are we streaming another Clue Crew? No, I, I, don't we? Think so. I don't think so. It's not the right time. What are, we, what are we doing here? Oh, we are playing Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. I believe it is a $20 game, I'm pretty sure, available on Steam, on PC computers. I mm -hmm. think you can also get it off of Steam, but it is for the computer. Yes. Uh, this is the newest Nancy Drew game. This is the one everyone's been waiting for. Oh, yeah. it's It's been like four years, I think, since the last one. So for many people out there, you're like, whatever, four years between games? That seems pretty normal. No, no, no. Nancy Drew games used to come out every six months, baby. It was a crazy turnover. Um, and I will say right off the start, I do not like this game. It is a huge disappointment. Um, I think it is. I have finished this game. I have played it completely. Um, I, I'd say it takes... You know, it, I think I have it listed as like 10 hours of playing, but it okay. probably doesn't take that long. To that does feel like longer people. than most of these tend to be, right? Uh, no, not necessarily. For, the, for our first playthrough, you have to realize we've all played them together when That's I true. have played them before. So true. it's easier for me to be like, oh, I know where we're going. Okay. But. All right. So where does this one go wrong? So we are, uh, that is a good question. I would say the movement is very bad. So you remember Nancy Drew games? You have like a click to the side, click forward, click backwards. Yeah, there's usually like a well, handful of screens. Well, now we can screens. also look around. Oh. Okay. Which creates some weird things. Also, it's just the movement's funny. Because, like, sometimes I feel like... I'll show you more when we get outside, where it's... I can see where I want to go, and I can click to there, and then things just don't work the way I want them to. And oftentimes you'll have screens like this where it's like, why am I here? Why can I look around? There's nothing for me to click. There's nothing for me to do. Uh, you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Um, but let's get in here. So the... Okay. Uh, see, this is another one where it's like, I want to turn that way, but it turns me around It's trying to turn you way, there as opposed to there. Uh, which is weird and annoying. Let me let me just throw this out there right now. Is this a game that would have been improved by just actually giving you free movement in the space as opposed to this weird click-through thing? Um, I think absolutely, yes. Okay. I think that there are bigger issues with the game as well. Okay. Movement is not my biggest issue. It is sort of the most in-your-face issue because you have to click around places. It literally is your face. Yes. Um, but right, so I have bigger issues. So, so what's going on here? So what's going on is this game started in Austria. You were in this like weird witchy castle. You were helping someone find like a cursed book. It was, I'll, I'll show you the beginning in a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was an interesting beginning, an interesting premise. Uh, and then immediately you leave and go to Salem. Okay. Which also interesting, but it was a weird like, whoa, cool. Where are we? And it's like, nope, we're leaving immediately. Um, but no, no one should ever have to go from Austria to Massachusetts. That's I, just a big uh, downgrade. I'm I sorry. Agree. So the main thing of this game is Deirdre. I don't know if you've ever played. There, Deirdre is in some of the other games. I believe Alibi and Ashes. She's kind of a terrible character. She doesn't get along with Nancy, and she's very annoying. Okay. Why they made her such a main part of this game, I don't understand. Uh, the but fans were demanding her. I guess so. But her cousin was they accused of burning down a house. We don't think she did it. But the cousin had a history of, like, something was burned down and she was to blame. Okay. Um, so now they are pinning it on her cousin May, which we will talk to here in a moment. So we are here to help that. But also there is this mystery of, like, why was this book stolen? It seems to be connected to the kind of history of witches in Salem. Okay. You might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Yes, she does. That's literally what she does. Yes. You really want to do the dumb tour? Which tour? To come with me, side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. We'll do both. Um, so this is another big issue I have with this game is as we've played it before, uh, you are choosing a lot of text options. Mm -hmm. And I can't even see the rest of this text option. I don't know where it's going to go. I can assume, but I do not know. Right. And that is a very bizarre thing for a Nancy Drew game, especially. And I feel like for this one, it's a lot of like pick every text option and you're done versus other Nancy Drew games where it's like pick one or the other one. Who knows where it'll go? Right. Um, also, when what they you talk, actually doing before you, you can only see like half of a sentence at a time with the mean? subtitles, which can make it a little you bit hard to follow. Okay. Whereas before well, they would just have like all the text out for you pretty here. much all the time. non answer it's like they're uh, trying to make it look more like a modern station. adventure yeah. game, but like that's and not one of the better conventions of like evidence. modern and like UI. It's the like design for that and type I of think stuff. That like there's so much dialogue in this game so and so much talking to it. people, and a lot of it's it just makes it harder to follow. So and I also I think the story itself is like a little bit convoluted and muddy. Okay. So it just like doesn't really help on top of it. The ghost. 
What? Oh, there's a ghost. No. Yes. There there, it's supposed to be haunted. There, this house told me the that was burned was down is like, was it haunted? We don't know. I have a theory. It's, totally cool. it's okay. not really a ghost. It's someone doing crimes. Well, I'm just saying, I think that's what we're, what we're dealing with here. I don't know. Well, whatever, I will say, is, when you deduce what it. happens the with the ghost sightings, mm -hmm. it does feel like it was just a dialogue option. A different character, not even Nancy, was like, I think it was this. And it doesn't feel like you deduce it or solve it via the clues in the world. Okay. I think that's my biggest complaint is it feels like it all all the story happens in dialogue. It feels very linear linear and you're not kind of actually going rail. around like poking around seeing like what's what's here, what's there. Like I feel like I found very few items that was like this is a puzzle and I need to figure it out. You know? Gotcha. I mean so much about the, like I'm mean, granted I've only seen a few of these games yes. that you've played, but it feels like a lot of it is about the puzzle solving. Even oh, if the puzzles yeah. aren't great, the like the puzzles that's the are thing. bad in this game. Okay. Um, a lot of them are very like what's happening, what's going on? Uh, like, what am I supposed to do personal. here? Kind of like fumbling your way through it, or it's incredibly easy. Okay. So let's go talk to May. Uh, I know I talked over the dialogue over there, so we won't talk over her dialogue. She is the one accused of burning down the house. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah. She doesn't like us. She's moody. Do you mind if I look around the house? Oh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? Okay. Look, I'm just saying, later, maybe if I'm, if you're an accused I'm arsonist, maybe don't go around calling other people weird. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, you raise a good point. Um, Rust be gone. Now that's handy. Uh huh. So, when a bit of so we do have a new voice actress for Nancy. Um, she is fine. I blame it more on the editing. I think sometimes it feels a little stunted. It feels like every. Good read is the them. same. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like every line of dialogue sounds yes. exactly the same, no matter the situation. Have been upset. She seems a little less perky that. than the last actress. Yes. And I don't know if that's like more of just a direction thing than anything else, but it does feel like they're trying to go for a little bit less of the peppy girl detective thing right, right out of the gate. Yes. Um, I think they're trying to like cool her up. Yeah. Which I look. I like Nancy, but cool is not really the <laughs> thing that is her thing. Yes, you get it. Um, so here's a puzzle. We're gonna try to put the pieces together of this thing. Okay. Um, just kind of magnets together. Okay, at least they magnet together. That's something. Yes, I will say there were some puzzles that were so frustratingly busted, uh, it drove me nuts. Like there's this one where you have to find ghosts with this electromagnet thing, and it like was so weirdly precise. So that's also annoying. I don't like the magnet thing because I can just do that. Oh, and okay, just, like, yeah. Suck that, up I was gonna say things. that's actually maybe not the way to do yeah. that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, it was like really annoying doing this thing. And then it wound up being like, well, it didn't seem to make a difference anyway. Like that's the other issue I have with a lot of the puzzles is they don't seem to go anywhere. Like- Right, they're just there because they're supposed exactly. to be. Exactly, like I did a puzzle where I have to like help this woman sort of with her tea shop and you do it and then nothing happens with it. Like truly nothing happens with it. It's just an option. You can just go and help her do tea. Weird. It's just, yeah, it's just really bizarre. Um, I think if you rotate that bottom part, the the whole bottom section that you have pieced together, I think that... Yes. There it is. This... Gee, I wonder what it says. <laughs> oh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I finished this game. I don't think they ever explained what this is. Oh, man. It is a note. But why tear it up like this? Like we ask people about it and they're dodgy, but I don't I don't think it's ever explained like who said this note. Well it seems like even if they do explain it, it wasn't very memorable, whatever the explanation yeah. was. Um here's an Easter egg. <laughs> Found it. Is it like an actual Not Easter egg? So the games usually have Easter eggs, but sometimes it's like, hey, click these chattering teeth ten times and you like actually get an Easter egg and it'll have like a little animation of an egg that'll yeah. pop up and it'll make like a chicken noise. They just threw that one in a plant. This is just her laughing. But it is classic Nancy Drew game to put real pictures probably of the fans in these games. Oopsies. Let's ask Hi. her about this note. So I found this letter. What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. So? So I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. I'm done talking, okay? All right. Bye, May. Okay, let's go out on the town. All right. Um, I was going to show you something that I don't like with the traversal in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, after this phone call Ned. with my boyfriend, Hi. Ned. Ned, 
How have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Did he time oh, travel sorry. from the 1950s? Yes. Busy on another case, they all huh? did. You know, Except May. Really May is the only like vaguely man. modern. Yeah, she's wearing yoga pants. Working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on. Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nancy. Just pork at another girl. Yeah, he's hey, definitely you cheating on you. Too. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Or specifically, they are that setting was... up a hilarious misunderstanding about him cheating on you. They, it's really, they have like a lot of weird tension. Nah. Oh, I know. That's another <laughs> thing that's so terrible is she follows you around for like half the game. I think and it's always every right time she does, judge. you turn around and it's like, ah! Yeah, you should not be there. Um, witch tour. Maybe check out the witch tour. Something might pop out at us. But anyway, they do That's set up this weird serious. thing of like tension between Nancy and Ned, and I cool. also don't think that really you goes anywhere. What you'll learn. It's something they plan to pay off in seven maybe. games. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's also like I don't need Nancy. Cool jack o' lantern. Aww. There's another thing is like there are these candles literally everywhere. They never mention them. They never talk about them. I was like, oh, maybe there'll be an interesting payoff of like Why with the here? witches. Better hang really on not. to this. Was this game supposed to come out around Halloween? Did they delay it or? Oh, they delayed it a long time. But I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, maybe. But this is another thing, like, wow, we can explore the world. Oh, yeah. Um, but it just looks so empty and barren. And also, this is something that really bothers me. I can walk to here for why? Why can I do this? I can't go anywhere else. Yeah. There's nothing else here. Let's maybe try this way. Can I walk this way? Huh? Nope. No? Something I can click on? Literally anything at all? No. What about over here? No, you no? just kind of look nothing? around the nothing? side of the house, I guess. Great. Okay, let's go to town. Jesus, dear I hate you. Kind of feels like maybe they built this with the intention of doing more with it down the road, but just don't have anything for it right now. Like, they just don't have things for yeah. you to explore. I don't know. Who knows? Um, let's, we got a text message. See, this is not a good depiction of Salem because there aren't dudes in warlock costumes riding around on segways here. Like, that is <laughs> not the authentic Salem experience. I've only been to Salem around Halloween time, and it was always pretty fun. But it, this does just feel like a small town that's, like, gussied up for tourists. It, it's for a small Halloween. town that uh, is cursed you know, by the, story, the Halloween the holiday. Exactly. By, like, just to be descended upon by tourists looking for, like light gothy shit. Mm -hmm. Did you notice those people step out of the way? The good animation for that one? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Lives on in oh, this should be interesting. They also added a lot more cutscenes to the game, which I find a little weird. It also, like, cuts the tension. I'm no, I know I'm really just, like, complaining and complaining about this game, but they do have all these cutscenes where it's like, here are scary parts, but it's not very scary when it's like, oh, a cutscene's starting, something's gonna come. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't take your complaining about this game as, like, being unjustified. I, like, the thing I get about this is that, like, they have done a specific thing with these games for, like, 20 years. Yes. And... When you're gonna change that up, it feels like there kind of needs to be a purpose to the changes you are making, and it feels like a lot of the changes you have described have not really benefited the experience in any major way. Yes, and I am very, I was really going into this with an open mind, like, I knew it probably wasn't gonna be perfect, they were going into a new engine, they were trying something new, People don't like change. Yeah. And I don't think this is an issue of me being like, oh, they changed my game. You were stoked. Game. You were ready for them to make yes. changes. I think what happened is they tried to ham like a more modern style uh, and lost the spirit of the game and also just did it poorly, yeah. which stinks. Like, I'll show you some puzzles coming up here. They're just so uninteresting and have little to do with the story. Um, I don't know. It's just such a bummer. some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. We can Austria use the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief. I wonder if they're related. <laughs> what were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. What are you new? <laughs> and if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. All right, yeah. Let's 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 become. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of thief. I'm not nearly Who's this guy, as talented you think? as you are. Larry. Oh, shucks. Yeah. You're making me blush. From Worcester. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? 
<laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. It's actually an online correspondence course. <laughs> yeah, it's eco-friendly. Bureaucracy <laughs> is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? Um. Uh, how, yeah, how did you throw that smoke bomb on the ground? Yes, explain your secrets. <laughs> how did you perform that trick? <laughs> A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code. I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Got him. Although, <laughs> if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. Uh, okay. Um, talk to you later. Talk to you later. I do want to take the tour, but... Oh, God, dear <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you one of my favorite people in this game. Oh, God, the moving is so bad. So they're protesting. They're all upset. There's yeah, I really person. feel like they could have just made borders in these open areas for you to walk around in yeah. because, like, the, the clicking around just doesn't seem like it works quite the way you want it to. Yes, it is true. Why are there protesters in a small town? Who, who is saying it? Her? Is yes. she the one saying it? Why are there protesters? She's talking in to a, a can, town though, town when they recorded this. Why are there it's such a weird little thing. I don't know why this is here. Later on, she's facing completely the other way and says the same thing. Did, like, a fan win a contest or something <laughs> to, to get a line in the game? <laughs> like, it's. It just doesn't. It feels like they recorded it over the phone. It's, it's a weird one. Uh, so we'll poke around the the, um, Is it the courthouse. Museum? Oh, courthouse. Okay. Oh yeah, we can also go to the museum. But I think I'll I'll show you the beginning uh, to show you because I want to compare it with some of the earlier games. Okay. Um, ah. Here is a thing I like to show though. Check who this out. Uh, it's a cool T posing. No, that's just that's it's just a cool teen. That's just yeah. what they do now. The teens do T poses wherever they go. Oh yeah. Can I help you? Hi. Sorry to bother you, but we were looking for Judge Danforth's office. Just across the hall. Why? What did you two girls do? We didn't do. I'm kidding. Alicia Cole, Esquire. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Is Esquire like a Georgia legal Shannon. term? I think it's like a lawyer thing. Lawyer. Okay. Salem's best. I always associate the, the magazine with it. Yeah. Limits, if you could believe it. And if you girls were in any trouble, I'd have no problem representing you. You both have that innocent look. Juries love it. So you're saying we could are get you saying away we, with a crime? Are you saying we should go do crimes no. so you can get us Partners get us crime. off? Because that's not... <laughs> Lawyer shouldn't do that. <laughs> Have a good evening. Okay. Let's go find the judge. You'd really become my enemy if I committed a crime? Who said that? Sorry. You shouldn't joke about that. Why? You gonna think... arrest me? Oh. No. Also, we're talking to her. She's behind me. to report you. I'd also recommend you a decent lawyer. Yeah, we know. Nancy, you're a narc. We get it. <laughs> wow. I'm a lawyer's daughter, Deirdre. Don't mess this with like me. such a weird... Hello? It's Judge like Dan such Ford. a weird yeah. turn for this character. Hello. Ted? Is that you? Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? Yes. And I'm with my friend, Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn house. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked what? in my office. And this judge I, uh, is kind of an idiot. I uh, need some help getting out. Is this some sort of biting um. commentary on the judiciary? <laughs> like, what are we, what are we doing here? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just on the... Okay, let's go get the key. Please, hurry, I'm running out of air. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have had my office vacuum sealed. He said you might have a key. Uh, another weird thing about this game, Sorry, everyone's always standing. Despair. Like, they're, I think, May... I don't know, and like at the breakfast table, the only times they sit, but people are always at their desks, fully standing next to their chairs. Yeah. But without standing desks. You don't mind me yes, asking. exactly. What business Did you just get a paper clip judge? instead of a key? Yeah, she didn't have the key. Helping the judge with a case. Anything I can assist you with? No. Thanks. But I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least not yet. Ha ha ha. Okay. Well, you've been in my office for ten minutes, so that's uh, four hundred dollars. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh wait. Bye. I'll come back. Yeah, just set the door on fire. 
Um, no, okay. Sometimes you have to like change the item. Judge oh, another thing about the traversal, which you have to use right feet. click what? to look around. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a laptop, it doesn't work super well. Oh. And this game is like supposed to be very accessible to like a huge swath of people. At least how, that's how the old games if have been. Okay uh, so it's kind of a bummer that like it really doesn't work well sure. with the trackpad at all. Mm. This so this is one of a challenge. that I did the first time, and I. It's unclear. You have to feel for a pin that gives resistance. I'm not. I don't have vibration or a gamepad or anything. That's okay. That's unusual. Uh. Okay. It's gonna have to slowly. I guess the resistance is just like the end. It moves slower. Yeah. And this is literally just like figuring out which order to do these in by trial mm -hmm. and error. So, oh. I mean, not that like lock picking mini games aren't always some degree of trial and error, but right. It also and like again, there have been some terrible Nancy Drew puzzles, but it feels like all of them are like this, which sucks. Ha! Still got it. Ah. Oh, Jesus! How did you learn to do that? Actually, Google Online video tutorial. Someday you have to tell me about there are a your couple cool puzzles though. So. There's one with like a CCTV stuff that I like. Hmm. Of being cool. so okay, I'm gonna let's go hop into the beginning really quick. Okay, you um, did it. But we don't get to see what the judge looks like. No, the judge thinks. Just imagine a man sitting at his desk and like his shoulders are a little too high for his body. Oh, is he sitting? No, he's standing. Uh, okay. So this is the Austria port of the game, portion Austria of the game. Yes. Been wonderful so far. Dad called. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here, the Book of Apologies, which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good Like, I feel like this is such a history. cool premise that yeah. they, like, set up, uh, and then it's never, Nancy. none of this happens. Um, I'm probably going to click through a lot of the dialogue here. I just want to show kind of uh i want to compare this to another game that has a similar opening sequence feels like ages since i was on my last adventure so are you coming in uh, -huh. uh that's all right miss drew i prefer to stay out here okay why it's so warm and inviting in here <laughs> um Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All of Judge Sewell's effects are there, just as your father requested. Although, I will tell you, as I told him, the desk is locked, and I don't have the key. But I will gladly stay and answer any questions you have from oh. the other side of this door. I recommend... I think you've got a raccoon problem in this, in this room. There's no electricity here. Well, in that room, at least. Cool. Window. Oh, great. All right. Skipping the through some of this. Mm -hmm. Well, goes. Is this Judge Sue? Ah, yes, yes, yes. That desk is where he's. And what your father. <clears throat> it was a ledger containing all. A ledger. Yes. Um, another thing. Okay. This is just another. This is a small mm -hmm. nitpicky one. But she'll pick up a piece of writing and then she'll respond to it before you read it, which I, I think is a weird letter. thing. It's addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. He asks for her forgiveness and for God's. Um, I don't know. I think for me, just put the dialogue after I pick up the note. You yeah. know what I mean? So then I can read it myself and then see whatever she deduces. Oh, here's another thing I find really weird. Whenever you click on certain objects, you get like a reverse sort of inverted look around. See, are there like makes this the like center versus Nancy's face? You know what I mean? Are there is there a reason for that? Like, are there things like on the sides of objects sometimes that you yeah, need to hunt for? Sometimes, but it's so weird. I don't know. It's just it's weird to me. Anyway, woo! Look at these scratches. Oh. Wonder what that means. Found a key. When I first played this, I was kind of on board with this. You know? Yeah. I was like, sure. So the traverse is a little weird, but I'll get used to it. Whatever. I mean, out of the gate, this is like, okay, yes, this is a Nancy this Drew a Nancy style Drew puzzle. Game. Yes, here we go. There's a fucking maze in the desk. Yes. Why? I don't know. Because it's a Nancy Drew game. Exactly. <laughs> Easy. I 
I found it. It's here. What? Really? Amazing. It's locked behind some sort of cage, though. The lock says A W. Any ideas? A W. It's full of root beer. <laughs> no, but I have some tools in the shop that might be able to cut it free. In my shop, I I'll go. Are they Anywhere. in your shop? Where is that? Hey. It's in my shop. <laughs> okay, let's go follow. Where is that, Doctor? Oh, so much going on. Nancy Drew. Deirdre, Deirdre, shut up. This is her asking her cousin. Ah. Hey, what are you doing? What? The book. They took the book. Okay, chase sequence. Exciting, right? Okay. Should be like high, high stress, time limit, some kind of stakes involved, right? Stop. Stop. I remember running. when I first played this. This is where I was like, oh no. Uh, are you even doing anything right now? Not yet. Okay. So it sets you up, but I feel like I saw him go that way, right? So yeah. I want to go this way. Oh, oh, nope, can't. Okay. Yeah, no. he totally ran that way. I'll go this way. Fine. Uh, again, nope, nope. Okay. Doesn't I guess seem to really matter much. We're taking the safe route. Yeah, they give me all these options to look around. Doesn't do anything. Okay. It's just like a scary chase sequence, right? Doesn't matter. I. I kind of feel nothing right now. Also, there are like no stakes if I do anything wrong. Um, I'm just sort of walking through the woods. More like you're gliding in weird chunks <laughs> through the woods. Yes. Um, so keep that in mind as we go into Come this on. other game. I will show you here mm -hmm. for comparison. Because I remember after playing this, I was like. Maybe, you know, it's been four years. Maybe I misremembered the other games. Maybe they do kind of feel like this and it's just been a while and I didn't notice and like this isn't that bad and being dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, so keep that in mind and I'll show you about a 10 year old game. Okay. Okay, Alex, we are back. Right. We are in a game called Alibi and Ashes, I believe. This came out in 2011, okay. which is almost 10 full years before yeah. the game we just played. All right. Uh, so let's get this in there. This from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. So this is uh, some kind of clue thing. It's like, hey, here's a fun thing for the local mystery solvers to do. Okay. We are going there to let's try to it. solve this mystery. Uh, just junior detective for now is fine. I'll just show you the beginning of this game to show you a little bit of context. If I could look around. It's not necessarily what I'm trying to show you here. Who's there? What? Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Oh no. Oh, no. oh that's not supposed I to happen. I do love that explosion um, animation though. It won't open. Uh, so you can look at this. Already, We already have clues ready for us, right? Yeah. It's jammed shut. So there's a moment already of tension here. already have to solve puzzles. The there's already got to do something. Window. Um, okay, let's solve this puzzle real quick. Puzzle is you need to be about a foot and a half taller. <laughs> Do you think you could successfully leave a burning building? Uh, it would really depend on the circumstances, but I, I, I hope so. Yeah. I really hope so. Time to get out of I here. feel like she actually didn't need to stack all of those to get, get up there, but look, <laughs> Nancy, it's safe or sorry. Yeah. But already I can make a wrong turn here. Yeah. You know, I had to oh shit. Did you make a wrong turn? I think a little bit. But I had to look at that map. I had to figure something out. There's already puzzles right from the start. There are already stakes. Oh shit. I think I'm okay, no, I'm okay. Like, there's already like <laughs> some stuff going on. This is Deirdre. This is the character we just saw. 10 years ago. I think yeah. she looks better now. Nancy Drew. That's the thing. One it's like, yes, the new the models, models are like a little higher I res didn't. and like yeah. they're a little more animated. But at the same time, like, there's more detail in these characters. Motivated? Like, there's a little more personality in it. Not. I would never. Back on. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Oh, no, that's a Massachusetts <laughs> fire, <laughs> fire guy. Where were you when the fire broke out? See, I have different options. Inside I don't know. This building. just feels so much better to me. And it's such a bummer that the new game feels bad. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm really truly hopeful they didn't salt the earth. I know this seems like me just ragging on this game, but it's only because I love these games so, so much. 
And I think that they are so important for so many young women that like, I hope, I truly, truly hope that this was just them figuring out a new engine and the next one will be more in the spirit of the Nancy Drew game. Yeah, I, I hope the same thing. And, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't blame you for having this reaction to it because if I had waited four years for like one of my favorite game franchises to reinvent itself and then it just like kind of fell on its face when it did, I would be real bummed out, you know? Yeah. Um, So, you know, that was Nancy Drew, um, Midnight in Salem. I don't know if I would recommend it. Hopefully they will come out with another one. And I'm, I will still be playing these games probably. Until I'll you... give them like two or three more for them to fucking figure it out. But yeah. we'll see. Um, anyway, thank you so much, Alex. Thank you, Abby. I'll see you later.